Hi everyone, my name is Arvin Olano and welcome to my YouTube channel. So, nobody asked, but in today's video, I am going to be talking about the trends that I'm ditching in 2022. You guys know I've been sharing my design journey here on YouTube for over a year now and I'm still learning as I go, just like how you guys are probably learning from me as well. And some of these trends I've tried and now I hate. And some of these I just like never liked in the first place. But of course, as always, these are just my opinions and trends are so much fun. It allows you to experiment and maybe introduce something new into your own home. The first trend that I'm ditching in 2022 is all white everything. Now, I know that's a lot coming from me because I actually love white furniture, white decor. I love the creams and the whites, but as the year is coming to a close, I'm actually kind of like bored of the all white thing and sound off in the comments if you're kind of on the same boat. Now I'm not saying I'm, you know, I'm gonna quit buying white furniture and decor, but I'm looking for something a little exciting. I'm looking for color, I'm looking for pattern next year, and I don't know, I'm kind of bored of the whole all white thing and like, even in social media, you see a lot of like photos that are overly exposed, overly white, and it just looks a little bit, I don't know, too precious and clean and you don't want to get it dirty. You know what I mean? I think the fact that we spent so much time at home these last two years, we've realized that all white everything is just kind of not practical. So I encourage you to kind of step out of your box look for print, look for color, and I'm going to share some favorite images here on the screen that really inspire me, that are available to shop, and of course will be linked down below in the description box. This next trend that I'm ditching in 2022 is feather fill sofas. Specifically like anything that looks like the cloud sofa. You know what I mean? Listen, no tea, no shade to anyone who loves the cloud sofa look. It's just not for me and I've tried it. I've tried a feather fill sofa and I think it was because of, you know, Miss Pandemic that made me think I need something soft and cloud-like and actually Andrew and I hate feather fill sofas. They are unstructured. <coughs> they just look messy over time and we, we just didn't like it, okay? And I know the look is very popular right now, but we're over it. We actually prefer a more like firm and like gushy kind of sofa, like the one I have here in my office, or these ones that I'm gonna show on the screen, this more like kind of single bench, Belgian type sofa. This looks a little bit more like I don't know, I, I like this kind of look. Or maybe this kind of like more classic type of look that has a more firm kind of sit. These are the kind of sofas that I'm loving for 2022. By the way, I know a lot of you ask about what I wear in every single video and most of them are old, but this one is new. It is a silk and kind of lurex blend cardigan. This is actually from Lily Silk. Actually, the pants are also Lily Silk. And I actually have a code for you, which is Arvin12. So I'll link all of these down below in the description as well. The next trend that I'm ditching in 2022 is boucle. <laughs> gotcha, No, we are not ditching boucle in 2022. If anything, boucle is going to be even more popular in 2022. And we're just going to see more like colors introduced in this nubby fabric. So I know you've seen a lot of whites, but I think 2022 will be all about like warm beiges, sands and brown boucles. She's not going anywhere, honey, okay? She's gonna be a classic, a design staple. I'm telling you, I'm telling you. The next trend that I'm ditching in 2022 is black kitchen hardware. I know. You're probably like, oh my gosh, black hardware is so classic. What are you talking about? I'm just kind of bored of the black hardware. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, it, it just, I guess it doesn't really suit my style. I, I see it as like too modern for me. And we actually switched our black hardware here in my home and we went for a antique brass. And to me, antique brass hardware is just so 
luscious and rich. And another option that you could look into that's also going to be popular in 2022 is either like a polished nickel or a brushed nickel. And you're probably like, wait, what's the difference between nickel and chrome? Now, nickel has like a warmer undertone to it compared to chrome. Chrome is very silvery, very cold. And nickel really has those warm undertones that I think a lot of people are going to love in their kitchen and in their home. This next trend that I'm ditching in 2022 is the squiggly lamps and the squiggly candle holders. These pieces are really in line with the postmodern trend that we're gonna be seeing in 2022, which by the way, keep a lookout for my design trends of 2022 video. That's coming up really soon. But I will say I'm just kind of over the squiggly lamps and the squiggly candles. Something that I'm loving though are brutalist candle holders, brutalist lamps, and actually I might have some. Here are some examples of brutalist candle holders that I'm loving lately. Look at this one, this brass number is gorgeous. I got this from Layered Logan. This is a brutalist candle holder from Germany and something about these, like the harsh lines, the rugged kind of nitty gritty designs, we're gonna see a lot of these accessories in 2022 and I'll also show some images on screen that I found online that I think you might love as well. This next trend that I'm ditching in 2022 is actually more of like a design style. And that is like the super clean and modern minimalism. I feel like a lot of editorials, a lot of like photos you see on social is like this really empty kind of minimalist, nobody lives there kind of home, right? And Again, I feel like it is, it feels a bit outdated because does anyone even live there? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that, I feel like it's not real life. It's not realistic. And I'm really gravitating to lived in spaces, lived in interiors. And actually I'm following a lot of accounts that kind of embody this like, I wouldn't say maximalists, but they have this like lived in feeling and it just feels a bit more cozy to me. And anytime I see like new build homes that are like super, super modern, I just feel like it's really cold. And let me know in the comments if you agree, or if you still like this really modern, clean, minimalist aesthetic. This last trend that I'm ditching in 2022, I actually loved early this year. And that is kind of those like dead, branches, sculptural branches trend, right? I think you saw a lot of that this year, kind of just like the twigs and the curly branches. And, you know, I'm not saying it doesn't look good. I still think it looks really cool, you know, if it matches your style. But what I'm really loving lately and what I'm gonna be doing a lot of in 2022 is like weird, floral arrangements in a very kind of minimal way. Not like this, this is a very like, you know, full, abundant and gracious. <laughs> Let me show you what I'm talking about. I shared these on Instagram lately and everybody loved them. These are actually eucalyptus pods and not only do they smell incredible, but they look so freaking cool. Like, just look at how amazing it is. I've actually, this is already dry for the most part, and it looks sculptural, it looks beautiful, but you still get that, like, touch of nature in your vignettes. I mean, can you even, okay? I feel like the weirder, the floral, Okay, the weird flowers, that's it for me for 2022. A big tip to find weird florals like this is to go to a local wholesale floral shop or any like local floral shops, really. Local floral shops really have this variety of things to choose from and go for the weird stuff, right? Like these are cool, these are beautiful, these are very nice, but this, this is gonna be the vibe for 2022. All right, everyone, that was it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, 
Don't go yet. Go ahead and watch this video next. And if you were inspired by the trends that I'm ditching in 2022, all of the sources will be down below in the description box. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone. <laughs>